guys? Ivan from Brainbus.com and today we're going to start doing a 101 uh, Arduino kind of video. Uh, when I started this channel, I wanted to have a channel that had a lot of videos so people could come uh, to the channel and actually find uh, the help they wanted. Uh, but like anything else, sometimes we forget that uh, not everybody knows or they're just starting out uh, using Arduino or they're just having questions, should I try it? Uh, but how exactly does it work? Uh, so basically today what I'm going to do, I'm going to show the process of once you get your Arduino, the first thing you need to do, uh, installing the software, plug in the Arduino, and how to program it. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started. So let's go check that out. All right, so before we get started, I just want to mention that if you're using a DigiSpark, uh, I made a special video uh, just for that because the installation is a little bit trickier. Uh, so you can find a link uh, to the video right there. And uh, I go through how to install uh, the DigiSpark drivers and what problems you might run into. Uh, so if you're using a DigiSpark, check that video out. All right, so now the first thing we need to do is download the actual IDE software from Arduino. Uh, that's the software that is being used to program the boards. Now, when you receive your boards for the first time, don't be tempted to just plug it into your computer without installing the software first. Uh, the reason for that is, is that on some system, the drivers might not install correctly. And then when you install the Arduino IDE, it'll get mixed up and it won't work properly. So the best thing to do is just wait before you plug it in and install this software that will install the needed drivers. So how to do that, you go to arduino.cc right here and you click on software and then you go down to download the Arduino IDE and it's up to 1.8.5, that's fine. We're gonna do the Windows installer on this one. So click here and here you can contribute because this is open source project. So if you wanna kick them a couple of bucks, you can do it there or just download the software and you save that. So it's downloading right now, we're gonna let it go and we'll be back. And verifying, and there it is. So we could run it here, but what I like to do is open the folder and it's in the download folder and here it is. Uh, what I like to do is right click and run as administrator. That way everything gets installed properly so you make sure that you do that. So here we go, say yes to this and here this is what you would get. So you say you can read all this uh, legal stuff here, click agree, and make sure everything is clicked on here and you can see the USB driver will get installed. That's what I was talking about before. So click next on that. That's fine, install, and here we go. So this will take a little bit of time, so we'll come back when it's almost done. And there we go, it's completed, and it actually put on the, um, on the desktop a little shortcut here. So now we're gonna close on here, close that. And if it's your first install, it would maybe ask you to confirm the installation of the USB driver, at, a window will pop up, so you just say yes to that, and always accept everything. And once you're done, basically it's installed, so let me just minimize this. And we're gonna double click here and start the actual software. And here it is, so let me just make it a little bit bigger, like so. Uh, so basically this is where the code will appear, but before we do anything and even plug in uh, the Arduino board, what we need to make sure is that under Tools, the right board is selected. So the first board I'm gonna plug in is the Uno. Uh, so I make sure that I'm selecting the right board right here. Go back and you can see the board now says Arduino Genuino Uno. And under Port, I already have a serial port on this computer and it's under COM3. So we need to remember that so that way we don't select this one by mistake when we plug in the UNO. So let me get out of here and I'm gonna plug in the UNO now. There we go, I plugged it in. So now if I go back to Tools under Port, you can see I have a new one which is COM5 but it doesn't say anything beside it. So if I didn't know that this one was here already, I wouldn't know which one to pick. So that's why it's good to check at the beginning before you plug in your board. That way you know that COM3 is not the right one. So I'm gonna select COM5. And basically now I would be ready to program this board. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unplug the Uno and plug in the mega board. So let me do that. Okay. 
All right, so now I plugged in the Mega. So if we go back to Tools under Port, you see now it says COM6, but it actually gives you a description of the board. Now, that might differ because uh, the Arduino is open source project, so anybody can make Arduino boards. Uh, so if you buy a board that's not made specific specifically by the Arduino company, uh, then at that point you might not have this description, which is what happened when I plugged in the Uno. Uh, but on this board, it was programmed in the USB that it would send this information. So that's helpful, but if you don't have it, then you already know that COM3 is not the right port. So we're going to choose COM6, and don't forget that under board, you need to change this as well. So right now we're, we were selecting Uno, now we need to select Mega, as you can see here. And now we would be ready to program the Mega board. All right, so now that the Mega board is connected and we select the right COM port and the right board, we're going to send a little program. So we're going to go under File, Example, Basic, and we're, done, we're going to do the Blink example. So we're going to open that, and here's the code for it, as you can see. Now, to upload, we just have to click the little arrow here that says Upload, and you're going to see some lights blinking on the Mega. Get closer. And there it is. And now you can see that the LED on the board is blinking, meaning that we successfully program the board. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that helps. Um, if you want to check out more information on the Arduino IDE, we did make another video on the libraries and how to install them, what they do. Uh, so basically, here's the link right there. So uh, if you're interested, you can check that one out as well. So that's it. So let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so there you go, guys. Hopefully this will be helpful for people that are just getting started or thinking to get started programming Arduinos. Uh, I'll be making a couple of these videos here and there uh, for people that are just starting out, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, like I always say, if you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We try to make as many videos as we can. And also visit our website at brainybus.com slash tutorials, uh, where you'll find uh, most of our videos have pages where you can download the code, the libraries, and a little bit more explanation. So I invite you guys to check that out. And also, we do sell some of these parts that we're using here. Uh, so if you buy a part from us, that helps a lot. So that'll do it for today, guys. As always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.